Hey there, my name is Gary Sims from Android Authority. Now we're starting to see a trend where some smartphone manufacturers are doing away with the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack and relying solely on a USB type C port. Well, how does that work? And what does it mean for you and for me? Well, let me explain. So first, let's look at some basics. We live in an analog world. We hear sounds through sound waves that travel through the air and then hit our eardrum and our brain interprets them as particular types of sounds. That's an analog way. Now, smartphones don't use analog. Smartphones use a digital system, ones and zeros, on and off. That's all they understand. They don't understand analog at all. Now, when you want to hear a piece of music, there has to be somewhere along the line a conversion from this digital system into this analog system. Now, the way that works is like this. Maybe you've got a piece of MP3 music on your smartphone. Now, MP3 is a lossy, compressed format. And what happens is your smartphone will decode that to give you the full, uncompressed audio stream. That will then go through what's called a digital to analog converter, a DAC. And that DAC produces the analog signal which powers your headphones. Now, of course, the quality of that DAC depends on how well that audio signal is produced and different DACs have different capabilities. So today what you have is you have your headphones plugged into the 3.5 millimeter jack and when the signal hits that 3.5 millimeter jack, it's now an all analog signal and that analog signal then goes up the cables to power the headphones. Now when you're using USB type C headphones, things are a bit different. Now the MP3 file is decoded to produce the full uncompressed audio stream that goes out to the USB controller on the smartphone into the USB controller that's now on the headphones and then from the USB controller on the headphones into a DAC that are in the headphones. And that DAC then does the audio conversion which powers your headphones. So now the music, when it gets to the outside of your phone, it's no longer in analog, it's now in digital, and the conversion from digital to analog happens actually in the headphones themselves. Now that has the advantage that if your phone has a low quality DAC, you can buy high quality headphones with a high quality DAC, and that audio conversion happens actually right next to your ears. Now, there is some advantages to that because the digital signal is traveling much further along the chain until only at the last moment it's converted into an analog signal. Now, how good that is, whether you can tell the difference of that, that's up to everybody. Personally, I'm one of those people that can't tell the difference, but this I'm talking about the technology. This is what happens in this situation. Now, one interesting question is what format does the data flow over the USB port into the DAC inside the headphones? Well, Android supports what's called USB Audio Class 1, and that's a PCM format, and that's the same as the kind of thing you find on CD-ROMs. Now, actually, there are other formats that can be sent over USB. For example, there's USB Audio Class 2. Now, the purist, audio purists among us will tell us that, all, that Class 2 is better because it offers greater resolution. And there are also some proprietary standards that different companies, different OEMs are working on. Now, the disadvantage of all these different standards is it actually can mean that in the future, you might have a smartphone that won't work with a USB headphone because the DAC in the headphones is expecting the data in one format and it's coming out in a different one. Now we'll have to see how that washes out at the end, but at the moment, the USB standard supported by Android by default is USB Audio Class 1. Now, if you do want to connect your existing headphones with a 3.5 millimeter jack on them, how can you do that? Well, of course, what can happen is, is you can have an adapter that goes on the phone and that adapter then gives you a 3.5 millimeter jack. Now, look, that can happen in two different ways. One is that there can actually be a USB controller and a DAC in that adapter, in a kind of a dongle that you plug into the bottom of the phone, and that dongle does all the hard work, all the DACs going on there, and then what comes out of that is an analog signal, which then goes up to your headphones. 
But also interestingly enough, the USB Type-C specification has two pins which can carry analog signals. So in fact, all of the, the simplest adapter is one that plugs in and it takes those analog signals and just does the wiring to give you a 3.5 millimeter jack. But that means you're relying on the DAC that's inside the smartphone. And that's fine, because that's what we've been doing up until now, but it's just, it doesn't give you an extra DAC. It doesn't give you any control over the DAC. So now we can see there are actually three different ways of connecting headphones to a phone that's only got Type-C. One is to use USB headphones with a DAC inside the headphones. One is to use a dongle or adapter that has a DAC and a USB controller inside the dongle itself. And the third and simplest way is just to use a DAC that's inside the phone and the two analog pins that are in USB Type-C get wired into a 3.5 millimeter jack. So do please tell me in the comments below what you think about the idea of USB Type-C audio. Does it not matter to you? As long as your headphones work, you don't care. Is it really important to you? I'd be really interested to hear your comments. I'd also like to give a shout out to Robert Triggs because he wrote an excellent article over at AndroidAuthority.com that explains all this stuff in greater detail than I've covered in this video. Well, my name is Gary Sim from Android Authority. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to follow me and Android Authority on social media. Don't forget to download the Android Authority app because that will give you access to all of our news and features directly onto your smartphone. And don't forget to go to AndroidAuthority.com because we are your source for all things Android.